Hello magical people, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel, my name is Cosmina and in today's video we're gonna talk about 10 brands that I tried in 2020 and 10 brands that I want to try in 2021. So if you're up for that, go ahead and keep it. Right, so let's start with the first brand that I tried in 2020. I mean, not necessarily if it's chronologically correct, but this is the first one that I do have on my little paper. So I tried Sugary Cosmetic in 2020. This is an indie brand um, and I, I really enjoy their eyeshadow palette. The mattes are a little bit on the drier side but they're still pretty good considering that they're an indie brand and the prices are really nice as well. Um, I bought an entire collection. I bought this collection that was the banana split uh, collection which had some blushes in it which I really appreciate the blushes as well um, and also some highlights N not as much the highlights but highlights are like hard for hard to convince me with because I'm not I'm not big on highlights but yeah this I tried I liked it I moved on now next one on my list it is Huda Beauty and I tried a bunch of things from Huda Beauty this year, definitely tried a bunch of them. Right now next to me I have this one that is Nude Medium. So from Huda Beauty I tried foundation which I do appreciate and I like. I do have to mix it up with something else that is a little bit a different foundation that is a little bit more dewy or definitely use something hydrating underneath because can, it can be a little bit on the drier side. I did try a bunch of her eyeshadow palettes including this one and I have to say they're like hit or miss. I really really enjoyed the uh, Khaki Haze. I really love this one as well. The um, other one, what is it, the Mercury Retrograde. I have mixed feelings about it. I used it twice. So I cannot say 100%, but the first time I used it, I wasn't sure of it. And then the second time I used it, I did quite like it. So I don't know. I would definitely have to try it a little bit more to tell you about it. But something that is absolutely freaking amazing in her brand, lips and her eyeliner. Damn. Amazing. All right, next we're gonna talk about Charlotte Tilbury. Oh my gosh, Charlotte Tilbury has been on my list for such a long time and I finally bite the bullet late this year and I bought a mystery uh, box from her on Black Friday. I'm gonna leave the link right here so you can go and watch it. I love a bunch of her products, so good. It's definitely worth it as a brand. I really thought it was it's way overpriced, but there's some uh, things in there that are so so good that are definitely worth it. Eyeshadow palettes I really loved. The foundation is good. It's a little bit on the drier side, but still very very nice brand, and I definitely like it. I was hoping not to like it because I don't want to spend that much money on makeup, but still, it's very, very um, good. Next on my list, I have Pat McGrath. Oh my god. Did Pat McGrath deliver this year? Wow. Um, one of the best eyeshadow palettes uh, formula I ever tried in my entire life. And keep in mind, I only bought the minis. I did not bought any of the large palettes. I only bought these two mini minis and I am uh, impressed. Impressed to the core with her formula. I'm just waiting the right for the right big eyeshadow palette to uh, go and choose. And I also really want to try her foundation. I haven't had the chance yet. But these are absolutely amazing and uh, it's true what they're saying about her formula. It is actually the best formula on the market, at least from what I you know. And next we have Natasha Denona, which I cannot say the same. I have tried this one that is the mini 
star palette and I don't like it. I hate it. The it's not good. The mattes are dry. The shimmers are just you have to press on those shimmers forever to be able to pull something out. And even when it's out, it still doesn't look okay. I don't understand what is the big uh thing around her makeup and her products because that what I tried, it's horrible. And also, I tried one of her duos, the blush and bron bronzing and... No, it was like bronzing and highlighter, which is okay-ish. It's nothing extraordinary, nothing that wowed me in any shape or form. It's okay, but nothing wow. You know what I mean? So I don't understand what's going on with Natasha Denona, why so many people are hyping it up. But for me personally, I don't think it's worth it. And I don't know if I still want to try things from her just to convince myself wrong. It's like I tried first thing and then I was like, mm, no. no. Next on my thing, it's Hourglass. I tried a few things from Hourglass, including this blush right here, which I do absolutely enjoy and love. Hourglass has been on my list for a very, very long time. I also have this highlighter right here, which is so beautiful. This is like a such a gorgeous um, glow from within type of thing. Gore, gorgeous. I definitely need to use this a little bit more, but I definitely love Hourglass uh, formula and it's definitely worth the hype around it. I know right now everybody's trying to boycott uh, hourglass I'm not I'm not in a cancel culture so I'm not gonna get into it but yes I really appreciate the products that I pur uh, purchased from hourglass also I got an uh, under the eye uh, powder which is still oh. all right next thing on my list offer cosmetics so I tried <sighs> I tried the very, very overhyped um, highlighters from Ofra. And I don't like them that much. <laughs> okay, so this is the thing. Um, I don't like to have a lot of sh glitter on my face. And these are like that. They're very, very in your eye type of thing. So this, I believe this is good just for like parties, nighttime, things like that. If you want to wear this during the day, I would not recommend it. It's, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot, you know? So I don't know, uh, for me, it doesn't cut it. I know a lot of people love crazy highlight on their face. Not for me, especially when I'm trying to go in like, be presentable somewhere and have a conversation with somebody. I don't want glitter showing up on my face. So that for me, it's no. Next thing that I tried, Hank and Harry. I tried a bunch of things from them, including some eyeshadow palettes. I did love some, uh, some of their eyeshadow palettes. I also have right here two of their um, sponges right here which I do appreciate. I love this one because this one is so big. It covers a lot of your face and this one, it's really nice for under the eyes. So I do like Hank and Harry. There's some misses in, in his formula with um, the eyeshadow palettes. Some of the colors that I thought are gonna be neon that weren't that neon, but there's still some really good products in there. There's some still some really good shimmers in there. So. Yeah, it's like mm, somewhere in the middle. And then uh, the balm. I tried the balm this year. I know I have not posted about it <laughs> because I created a video with the balm and uh, I decided not to, not to post it. So this is the thing. I ordered the um, foundation, even Steven, hate. I ordered the concealer. Ugh. Eh, eh, it's somewhere in there, you know. The Even Steven is very cakey. Uh, one of the uh, hardest formula to actually blend on my skin. 
same with the concealer um the bronzer though love i love the bronzer i love the blush i really appreciate the press powder but um i have not tried their uh, uh, eyeshadow palettes so i don't know how those are but the foundation nah, 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 not my thing all right so next thing on my list that i did try this year was the ordinary brand and i tried a bunch of things from them and i really really enjoyed their uh skincare i'm definitely gonna order some more because i have finished a bunch of them but right now what i'm actually using the only thing that i still have left from them it is a serum for my under eyes and it actually does work and I do like it. So I do use that every day, every morning and every evening. And I really, really do enjoy it. But yeah, Ordinary as a brand. Very good skincare. Very affordable skincare as right. well. So yeah. now let's move on to the 10 brands that I do want to try in 2021 i have here in my so list. first one is m cosmetics i heard a lot of people talking about their blushes their liquid blushes which i have not tried which i don't know if i'm gonna like but i do still want to try it <laughs> and i did heard that um their eyeshadow formula is nice as well so i want to try that next year somewhere in 2021 Hopefully. Next one that I do want to try is Mel Cosmetics. I have not tried Mel Cosmetics. I have seen the the rusted was it the rusted palette something like that rusted rustic rust palette I don't remember which really really wanted that palette but something something didn't allow me to pay it to buy it. I don't know what actually was that kept me behind and also last year i really loved their la vida and la muerte palette i really want to grab them but i had them in my card multiple times but i never actually did press um check out i don't know i don't know what kept me but i do want to get something mm, somewhere in 2021 and actually try them for the first next time. on my list is busy art busy art I looked at so many of their palettes and it's kind of the same thing that happened with Melt. I had them in my car multiple times. I wanted to try them multiple times, but I never actually pressed checked out. And I, I really need to try them because I hear so many people talking about them and I really, really want to try them and see if they're really actually as good as they say. Um, next, I want to try Makeup by Mario. This brand, oh my god, got so many mixed reviews. Some really good ones, some really bad ones. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what it is. I want to put my hands on it. I want to try some of his things from, I want to try some of his uh, products from his brand because I want to see it for myself. Which way is it? Is it really good or is it really bad? Where is it? You know? I want to figure out this next oh, on my list. I have Sigma Beauty. <laughs> oh, Sigma. I have been watching Sigma all year long. I try to buy things from Sigma all year long. But same thing. Something stopped me. I don't know what, but something really stopped me. Because I do want to try their formula for eyeshadow palettes. But I also want to try their... Um, brushes i have not bought any brushes from them and i really want to try it same thing everybody talks about the brushes from sigma they say there is a ama they're amazing blah blah and i do want to try it so i can test it for myself if they're really that great all right next on my list it's patrick ta so patrick ta actually came out with a uh, blush this year yes there was a blush this year that i had it in my cart for 10 times and never purchased it it i think it was 38 dollars or so 
very beautiful very very beautiful um and i i i kind of want it <laughs> i kind of want it but i have so many blushes in my collection that was one of the biggest thing that kept me from not purchasing the fact that i do have so many brushes blushes in my collection so i don't know we'll see if next year i get to pan some of the things maybe i'm gonna purchase uh one of those blushes but even though i want to try some of his products i know he came up with like uh something for the brows like soap brow and stuff like that but i do i just i can't i'm, I'm gonna watch this i'm gonna watch this um brand this year and see i mean in 2021 and see what else are they showing up with on the market and maybe i'm gonna purchase something from them on Next. the list is patrick star ah <sighs> this one again it's kind of like the same with makeup by mario for some reason people really like to hate on people or they're really bad i don't know <laughs> some of them are some of the reviews are really good some of the reviews are really bad um but i do want to try his uh, powder right now i do have a lot of powders in my collection and i need to finish some before i purchase another one um but definitely when i will finish one of my powders i'm gonna try his um his one size uh powder because I heard the powder is really good. So I do want to try the powder. Next on my list, Dominic Cosmetics. Um, same thing. This year I watched this, uh, this, I watched her for, I watched her releases all year long. None of them convinced me enough to purchase something. But I have my eyes on this brand and I do want to try something from it in 2021. Next on my list is Gucci and Dior. <laughs> Two brands that are so hype and they're so luxury that I feel like I need to try something from them. I need to see what is it that they do. They're so that they're so expensive. What is it that makes people want to purchase things that are so expensive from these two brands so i want to try dior is coming with a blush absolutely gorgeous from what i could see it and i want to try it and then gucci i think they had a bronzer or something like that this year but i do want to get something from gucci as well we will see what's good that's gonna be next and another brand on my list here it's an indie brand and it's called unique beauty and i know this brand recently <laughs> this is hilarious but recently they um came out with a collection that was japanese inspired or something and they fucked up the names they put some different things that didn't mean what they were saying that it meant and there were a bunch of people calling them out and they were like oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry and it was like wait what uh, uh, where what's going on so they put a bunch of things out and they um called them in japanese and they didn't know what they meant so that's insane to me but it still makes it funny and i still want to try them i still because they have all these things like they have team for like countries and stuff and i want to try some of their products in 2021 these are the 10 brands that i do want to try in 2021 let me know down below if you i if you tried any of these brands and what did you like from them and what would you recommend or what brands would you like to try in 2021 Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time with another video. Bye.